This video is sponsored by Data Crew. Today we're going to be putting together a special baby diaper sling bag for dads who want to have all their essentials to take care of their baby on the go without the bulk of a traditional diaper bag. Now as a dad of two, I've got a three year old and an eight month old, you can imagine the gear I take with me on a day to day basis changes a lot depending on the day. But one thing that remains constant no matter what is the fact that you got to juggle a ton of stuff as soon as you walk out that door. Car seats, strollers, bottles, diapers, extra clothes, toys to keep them entertained, and bags to put all of these things into. As soon as your attention starts getting divided in so many ways like this, it's easy to forget something crucial and ruin your day. With so many things to handle, I found that a backpack or a diaper bag, while it is spacious and has that high storage capacity, can start to get clumsy or hard to put on and take off, especially when you gotta wrangle a baby in one hand, you got your car seat in the other, and you're trying to lock your house door and unlock your car door. And I don't know about you, but I'm trying to eliminate as much stress as possible from my life. That's where this diaper bag loadout comes into play. As a content creator who loves bags and slings, I've been able to explore and review a ton of different types of gear and accessories to streamline my workflow and to live with purpose. I've had the good fortune of being able to test them in a variety of scenarios, and I want to be able to pass that good fortune on to all you dads out there who already have enough on your plate and want a simple diaper bag loadout that's lightweight, efficient, and easy to grab and go. And while I love a solid everyday carry backpack for my laptop, my daily essentials, and my tech accessories, this summer I've been striving to carry lighter and to stick to only minimal essentials that'll get me through the day. So what happens when you stuff a sling full of diapers, extra clothes, snacks, toys, baby formula? Is it even gonna fit when you try and zip it up? Will it be a game changer and lighten your load when you're out with your kids? Or is it just gonna be annoying to get into when it actually comes time to use it? <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> Getting right into the baby essentials, this is the bread and butter of your baby diaper sling bag loadout. Correct me if I'm wrong, but every single diaper bag loadout ever is gonna have these items in some shape or form because your baby needs this stuff. Diapers, butt wipes, wet wipes for surfaces if you're putting them in a high chair or a shopping cart if you're going grocery shopping, spare onesies or clothes just in case they have a big blowout, a pacifier or a teether if they're teething. Exactly how many of these items you keep in your loadout will highly depend on you and your little one and their tendencies, but you wanna make sure you're prepared and have a little bit of each of this stuff in your sling bag. When I had my first kid, at first I didn't think about a lot of this stuff. It can be overwhelming as a new parent, but you know, moms always have that superpower for always coming in clutch and being prepared. So thankfully my lady had my bases covered, but it could have been messy a couple of times and I wasn't ready, but we're not gonna do that. This video is gonna prepare you. We are gonna prepare you for these eventualities so you don't get caught off guard. A big pro tip here is to pack a padded changing mat of your own. A lot of public bathrooms these days have diaper changing stations where it's a big drawer that you pull down and you can change your baby on there, but it's just plastic. And oftentimes, you know, you kind of have to finagle your own solution by laying down tissue paper. It wastes a lot of time and who knows if it's really that clean. So to pack your own changing mat in there, it's padded so it's more comfortable for your baby. It's made out of nylon so it's easy to wipe down in case, you know, you get a big poo poo problem and you fold it up and it packs real small into your sling bag. So definitely keep your eye out for one of those when you're shopping for these essentials. The one I'm using came as a part of a larger diaper changing station bundle, but I'll link a few that I like down below. We're gonna go ahead and put all these baby essentials into the Data Crew Snack Time Sling version two. Now this one is a robust sling that gives you 3.25 liters of real estate for all your baby essentials. Some main features that really stood out to me include that gray X50 X-Pack tactical material. Note that added ripstop top layer kind of adds an extra layer of abrasion resistance to that material. We got AquaGuard YKK zippers to keep the moisture out, a wide bottom for maximum storage inside, and a magnetic clasp for easy on and off while you're wrangling your kids. It's got a zip pocket inside and a modular value tray that you can switch out, take out, or add on to customize your loadout and really dial in the configuration for your specific tailored loadout. Another nice touch, especially for a baby diaper sling bag, is that on either side of the sling, there are two anchor points for you to latch on your carabiners, hang extra things on just in case you need to put that there while you're moving around maneuvering with your kids. 
And this will come in handy for some of the items we're going to be talking about in just a little bit. You got that big, generous, premium feeling loop field out front for you to rep your favorite brands, your Ranger eyes. And because it's loop field, you could add on other modules from other brands if you needed more storage space. Just tack it right on there. As long as there's hook backing, it'll be compatible with that large loop field out front. You got a quick access front pocket for all those frequently reached for items. Maybe you have some medications in there for you or if you're little. And there's also a subtle zip pocket in the back. That would be for valuables that you want to keep close to your chest. Test, test, one, two. I mean, I think it's pretty good size. Usually I don't rock larger slings, but 3.25 liters, I think is enough for what we needed to do without it being huge. It's stuffed to the brim, you know what I mean? And that's, I think that's the intent, right? I'm trying to find a perfect bag to fit exactly what I need and nothing more, right? If this was half full, then that would justify me doing a smaller sling. And if I couldn't fit stuff, then that would disqualify the sling, right? Provides you with plenty of spots where you can carabine things, hook things onto, or otherwise hang this on something else. Very utility forward. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Ever since I made that daddy day pack a couple years ago, I've been trying to find a better way to carry all of my baby essentials with me without taking up too much space. I found that a backpack can be clunky and bulky a lot of times, especially when let's say you already have your toddler in one arm and you have things to carry and then you gotta worry about putting a backpack on your back. So I think honestly, slings have been generally are easier to keep on you. Oh, we're going a little speed racer right now. Generally, slings are easier to keep on you in front slung or back slung. You don't notice it as much. And if you can fit all your baby essentials into a three liter sling or something like that, I think we've got some potential here. You know what I mean? The reason why I'm trying to find a lighter solution to the daddy day pack is because oftentimes, you know, mama knows best. So she's always got her diaper bag at the ready and she's always prepared, which I love. But in effect, when we're hanging out together, you know, usually I kind of get this false sense of security that, oh, mama's got everything, I don't have to worry about it. And then when it comes time for me to go change the baby's diaper or what have you, I have to go, hey, where's your bag? Let me see your bag. Let me grab stuff from the bag. If I forgot something, I gotta come back out and get something from the bag. So I think it's just better for me to have something on me at all times. It'll allow us to be more nimble when we're taking care of our kids. It's always important to stay fast and to stay quick because they can walk away and do all sorts of stuff in a moment's notice. So all right, we're gonna head into the store, I'm gonna go get some supplies, all right? <laughs> left the grocery store to pick up some supplies and of course gotta have some snacks for your little one okay this is super important because usually when your little is crying it's either poopy diaper they're tired and need to sleep or they're hungry so that's exactly why we got to make a little room in our sling for some snacks make sure you pick their favorite flavor otherwise they ain't gonna have it <laughs> All right, this next one is a game changer. At some point in time, you're gonna have more stuff than you can carry, whether that's your toddler in tow, a grocery bag, Starbucks coffee, because you needed to reload on caffeine in the middle of the day, it's inevitable. So enter the hero clip, all right? It's a carabiner with a hook that swivels out and it's gonna let you hang stuff off of anything. When you have those brief moments where things are starting to get away from you pretty quickly, if it's just you and your baby out there in the field and you just need to put something down momentarily, you don't want to set it on the ground or anything like that, that hero clip comes in clutch. Absolute game changer. And the beauty of this clip is that because it's a carabiner, when you're not using it, you can just swivel that hook back into the carabiner so it's compact and you can carabine that either to the strap of your sling or even to either one of those two anchor points I mentioned. Absolute staple and I'm surprised I don't see it in more baby diaper sling bag loadouts. The clip comes in different sizes and those different sizes support different maximum loads. For example, this medium one that I have here supports up to 60 pounds. So make sure you grab one that's appropriate for what you want to use it for. For those of you who want to be extra prepared with a first aid kit, just in case you or your little one gets a cut or a scrape, 
I put together a few first aid kit essentials and combined that with a few everyday carry staples as well and put it into a slim form factor in the form of the Data Crew What a Junior. This one is a high viz outer with that orange, so you can easily spot it in the sling. It's got the same X Pack material and Aqua Guard YKK zippers, just like its big brother, the Snack Time Sling V2 to keep your contents safe and dry. We got another carabiner special for you. It's filthy out there, especially when your kid has a poopy blowout. So make sure you have some hand sanitizer on hand so that you can clean your hands, your toddler's hands, so they're not passing pink eye back and forth like hacky sack, all right? I've filled up this handsome aluminum hand sanitizer bottle from Orbit Key with my favorite hand sanitizer, which is I think I've got in there. I think I've got the aloe vera version of the Purell, so it's more moisturizing when you use it. It's sustainable, it's easy to refill, and it's got the little finger pump so you can dispense this thing at ease. And best feature of all, it's got a carabiner at the end of it. So you can strap it onto either anchor point or onto the strap itself so it doesn't take up any room in that sling of yours. Here's another pro tip for you. Grab yourself a pack of these drawstring cinch bags from Amazon. They look like this and they do wonders for organization in your sling bag. What I use it for is to separate the regular stuff from stuff that really needs to stay clean like your pacifiers and your teethers. You don't want to throw that into the bag with the rest of the stuff because you want to minimize the germs spreading so you can keep the clean things clean. The bags are conveniently color-coded so you can use different bags for different things. For example, the blue bag could be for snacks and the red bag could be for tours. No matter what system you got going on, this will add another layer of organization to your sling loadout. Now this one is another one of those things that I don't think us dads really pay attention to all that often. We make sure our babies are well fed, they have dry clothes, but the accessories we don't think so much about. And I'm talking about bandanas, all right? Babies drool and they drool a lot, especially when they're teething. And unless you got an awesome shirt that changes color when it's soaked, I think you'll agree that getting one of these is the right call. Put that bandana on them so they can just drool onto that and it soaks it up instead of their actual clothes, all right? They come in a bunch of cool colors and designs. They're usually made of this muslin cloth, so it's soft and soaks in a lot of that drool. And one added benefit beyond the fact that they're gonna look awesome with a dope bandana on them is that it keeps their clothes underneath dry for longer. They won't develop, you know, rashes on their chest or their neck and you don't have to change them as often. Also, when you think about the small stuff like this, it really pays dividends in the long run. If you want to see what a baby diaper bag loadout looks like as a backpack, I'm going to leave a video here that I made about two-ish years ago where I put baby essentials into the Able Carry Daybreaker. And I want to hear from you. Which do you prefer? A sling bag that's filled to the brim but lighter and more nimble on your body? Or would you prefer a backpack that's larger, you got some extra space in there but it ends up being clunkier and bulkier? Let me know in the comments. As always, live with purpose and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.